Hey guys, I just wanted to introduce this second part of the video because this is longer and I didn't want to make it a four part thing. Uh, so hopefully this one can go without a hitch to be two parts. So as I said in the last one, I hope that one day I can download these videos and make it one whole collective comprehensive study uh, on this set. But for right now, it's just going to be two parts. And, let's get and here we have the Hogwarts castle out of the bags and completely put together. Now we're going to take a look at half of it at a time. So we're going to take this half away for a moment. Just put it off to the other end of my room on my bed where I know it won't get broken like my Batwing did when I was moving things around last night. And we're going to take a look at the first half of the build which is uh, a phenomenal part of the build. I love the three tower tower details on this side. We're going to take a look at the exterior first, by the way. Um, I love the Dementors around the Great Hall area. I love the use of these uh, teeth pieces as spires up. I love the use of the ski piece uh, in sand green. I love the way that this specific tower is built. I love the way that the shackling on this part of the tower is built. I love the Hungarian Horntail build. I think that build is great. Uh, I have it positioned in a different way than it says in the instructions because honestly, I like it being more dynamic and this is more how it would look or how it looked in the Goblet of Fire film. I love the lanterns that go all the way around. These are just telescope pieces with uh, or, or not orange, uh, yellow studs on top. I love this spire. Uh, I love the trees on the rock detailing. I think that's really great. Uh, a note to anyone getting this set, um, pay extremely close attention because there are parts of the build that I and many other uh, people have missed. And no, these are not uh, unintentional. These are these holes right here where all the used windows are. Those are intentional pro uh, those are intentional gaps as those are where the instructions tell you to take a gap um but especially be careful in these sections the rock sections be exact and look especially at those because those can trip you up uh i know they did for me because i had almost the entire set built uh and it, and this had nothing to do with the rock set part of the set but I could. I know that there's definitely a part part where I missed uh, rock parts because um, I had an extra one of the gray uh, cheese slope pieces. So I know that uh, I made a mistake there. But on the second half of the build, I'll show you where it was. I was missing a piece, um, and it's something that I noticed with a lot of other reviews of this set. Like Holly on Films review of this set was missing a part in one of the towers, and I was like, "Oh, I caught that." Um, but I'm just saying, like, be careful when you're building this. Um, I love the entrance to Hogwarts. It's just uh, a nice build for the tower. And then with uh, these uh, one by, or not one by ones, uh, these uh, studs with holes with the yellow stud on top, just going into these uh, uh, bar pieces, uh, kind of turning it around. I love the detail on the tower with all these stickers. I wish they weren't stickers, but it's okay. I love the usage of the one by one smoky plastic uh, uh, pieces right there. I don't know if I mentioned the Dementors earlier, but I love how all of them are positioned on these bars. Um, I love the statue. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to kind of go a little handheld for this part. I love the statue, uh, right there, uh, uh, right there, you can see it now, uh, that back there is a sticker, this clock part is also a sticker as well as the doors are stickers as well. Now, uh, going back to the original angle that we're taking a look at this in, uh, I love also uh, the stained glass windows, you'll get a better look at those when we're actually, uh, taking a look from the back. Um, but turning this around, speaking of, uh, we're going to take a quick cut 
and take a look at all of this amazing back detail. And taking a closer look at all of the details in this set, here we have Dumbledore's office. A lot of the set, uh, or a lot of this section of the set, is just done with stickers, unfortunately, but they get the job done. We have a nice uh, table with a stud on top, some stickers on the inside of, I would assume, previous Hogwarts founders, as well as the sticker for the uh, window and railing that he gets spoilers uh, killed on. Um, and then you also have the, uh, Phoenix piece right here, surrounded by that same build as the, uh, top section. Um, coming further down this tower, we have the boys and girls bathrooms. Uh, I get why they did it in the same section, but I kind of wish they were separate, but uh, you can see the boys' bathroom with the mermaid uh, sticker right there, as well as the girls with a sticker of Moaning Myrtle just flying about. Uh, I love the uh, bathroom piece, just white uh, cylindrical brick with some one by twos with a uh, cheese slope and a clear tile onto a uh, round jumper plate. So... Uh, as I fix the set that I just decided to take apart for your entertainment value. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, you didn't ask for it. Uh, it's okay. Uh, moving further down, further down, further down, that's gonna be copyrighted. Uh, don't, don't sue me, Lynn. Uh, you have the staircase, which is built very nicely, but just taking that away for a really quick second. You can see all of the stickers used for former Hogwarts students and faculty, and I really enjoy uh, those stickers, despite them, you know, being stickers and me despising stickers, and I don't really like stickers. I'm sorry, I just don't. Uh, I wish they were prints, but whatever. And this just turns around that much only because of the uh, build. Uh, and then moving down to the second set of all of these. Uh, still nice, still great. However, uh, just different stickers with the same amount of articulation only. This one feels kind of more limited, I guess. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate. Um, but I'm gonna take you off of this part just to take a look at the Chamber of Secrets. Now this section, this is a sticker. That sucks. It was a hard thing to put on, um, but it's whatever. So just taking a look at uh, what's next to it while we're down here so that we don't have to do it later is the actual Chamber of Secrets. You can see the Salazar Slytherin face in the back. It looks very nice. It is all brick built. Uh, the stickers kind of suck, but it's whatever. Uh, got some nice snake pieces for the, uh, two, uh, what is supposed to be three on each side, but I understand why it's not. And then the basilisk, and then you also have, uh, Tom Riddle's diary down there. And then here we have the Great Hall build. Uh, as you can see right here, we have, uh, Umbridge's, uh, declarations. Uh, none of them are really, like, that specific, but I'll f probably flash up a picture up here just to show you if they are. Uh, you can see the Gryffindor flag, the Hufflepuff flag, the Slytherin flag, and the Ravenclaw flag, all of which are stickers, um, unfortunately, but it's okay. Um, and then you have each table, which are just uh, on jumper plates. Uh, so that's all cool and well and good. Um, and then turning it around so you can see a bit more. You can see the stained glass windows better. Those are really unique builds and I really like those builds. It was really fun to do the stained glass windows. Uh, you can also see some torches around that area. And then 
you can also see, probably not very well, but the headmasters and staffs table, you can see Dumbledore gets this, the gold spike on the back of his chair, uh, and then you have the steps leading up to that section. You also get some stained glass windows on this part of the build, some right here and all around. Uh, some more of that scaffolding continues up, and you can see how the Dementors just stick on, like so. Um, and that's really it for this whole section. There really isn't that much to go over left. Uh, I mean, these are panel pieces, um, that I think are printed really well. I think they're exclusive to this set. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But other than that, there's not really much to go over on this end of the uh, build. I just really wish I could get like a light back there so that I could show you the beauty of those um, uh, iridescibility behind the um, stained glass windows. But uh, maybe I'll throw up a picture uh, to show you what they look like. But that's it for this half of the build. Let's get on to the second half. Editing Alan here, showing you that these right here, these panels are all stickers. Uh, I didn't mention it when I was covering it earlier, so I'm kind of like hand holding it now to show it off. But yes, that is what that looks like. Um, in case anyone was wondering, I didn't want to get caught for that. Also, another detail I missed was this right here. I'm not sure what that is. And also, I didn't mention the fox uh, sticker right there. So that's all I needed to say. Thanks. And here we have the wide shot of the second half of the Hogwarts castle. And um, we're just going to take a closer look at specific aspects of this half of the build. Now, first off, we have the Hogwarts crest right here with three studs representing each of the Hogwarts houses. The yellow stud representing Hufflepuff, the red Gryffindor, the green Slytherin, and the blue Ravenclaw. You can see we got have those doors there again, which are just stickers, unfortunately. And then we also have these stained glass windows, which are very nice. The window uh, tile pieces, or uh, the window pieces that I still believe are exclusive to the set. Some more of the tooth pit pieces for spires, uh, and then the top of the towers, all done with the sand green um, ski piece. Some more rock detailing with some trees as well as here and then we have those lamps again with that same build with just the stud with the hole in it and then the yellow uh, on that side some more of the the building uh, aspect as was on the main tower for uh where Griffin, uh, dumbledore's office was uh that's starting to fall down i don't even know what it is to be sure if I'm being honest, but, uh, I think that's a clip. I think that's a clip. Pretty sure it is. Um, then you have the same kind of build for the lights. Uh, now the part that I missed was right here. I noticed that as I was taking the wide shot of the entire castle and it was kind of bothering me. So I just took that and fixed it. Um, you also have the walkway that leads to that set of doors. Um, but yeah, you also have a walkway that leads to these two towers. So that's it for the handheld portion of this build. And let's turn it around and take a look at all of the extra detail. And here we have looking at the library and the Gryffindor common room. Now the library just has a nice bookshelf build, uh, as well as a table build that you can't really see except for when I turn it like that. There's the table build with some books all around. Uh, you got some stickers uh, for here and there, as well as also you can't really see the uh, library. There we go. Uh, you got some stickers for up here and down here, respectively. Uh, you have the Gryffindor common room right there with the fireplace built in. I don't know if you can see it or not, uh, you can. Um, as well as uh, other aspects, and you can only assume that this is the Gryffindor common room because, well, it's red. And then taking a closer look at the bottom level of this side of the build, 
we have the Room of Requirements with the Goblet of Fire, some other stuff that I can't really pick apart, some uh, uh, Lego uh, Easter egg, uh, not really Easter egg, but uh, some Lego sticker detailing in the back, like a trumpet, uh, a pretzel, a skeleton, a guitar, and another guitar. Uh, also, I think Aladdin's lamp is in there. I could be wrong about that. Uh, and then uh, coming over to the side, uh, we have the potions classroom. You can see all the sticker and the detail back there. You have a nice big cauldron, some uh, different color or transparent color studs to represent different kinds of potions. Uh, I like the beaker piece used in purple for this part of the set. And then coming over to this side of the set, here we have the mirror of Irisid room. You can see the stickers really crooked because I'm bad at applying stickers, but you also have the sorcerer's stone. You have all of these fire pieces to uh, represent the fire around Harry and Quirrell, obviously. And then on this side, we have the chess, uh, the big wizard chess. A lot of pieces are put in to uh, make it more uh, accurate and as if they were broken. I'm not sure why these are blue instead of black, but it's a-okay for me. Uh, we also have uh, some more sticker detailing in the back. Um, also, that door is to the Mirror of Irised room. I just thought I'd point that out. Uh, I love the flying key uh, stickers. Uh, I love the use of the broomstick piece uh, being a uh, paintbrush as well. And you get a singular one, and then you get two of the two by twos or two uh, by twos with two on them, and then you get the one right there. So we're gonna cut for from here and move on to the upper levels. And moving on to the upper half of this set, here we have Umbridge's office uh, with a uh, uh, plate piece or a dish piece with a um, yellow stud there to represent the actual light fixture itself. Uh, as well as I'm actually going to remove that so you can see it all better. Uh, four white studs on the wall to represent the cat plates. Some uh, flower pieces to represent... Uh, I don't remember really. But then you also have Umbridge's desk and chair on the back. And then here we have uh, the Transfiguration classroom. We have the... Uh, ah, what is it called? Uh, the Alexander Graham Bell machine. I don't remember what it's called. Um... But it was a record player, essentially, uh, from the Yule Ball. I don't remember what that is, but that's okay. Uh, we have some... Uh, uh, that's what this is. This is the Defense Against the Dark Arts Room. I was wrong. My bad. Uh, we have uh, Cornish Pixies all up in there. I would assume that's the Boggarts, or in some form, I suppose. Um, but then you have some magnifying glasses some, uh, a cylinder in uh, transparent plastic, and two studs, and a sticker of what I can only assume is a Thestral. You got three desks, as well as uh, a sticker right here, and a sticker there for the Room of Requirement. Uh, another sticker that I absolutely love is the Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies beware or Enemies of the Air Beware sticker. I love that sticker. It's a great sticker. I wish it was printed, but I digress. Also, something I did not point out earlier is the fact that this tower is I what I would remember as the Sirius Prison Tower. And there's another detail I missed that we're going to get back to as soon as we're done talking about all of this. Uh, I wish that the... Uh, sonogram piece, or not the sonogram piece, that's for uh, OBGYNs. Um, I wish that the uh, 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 record player piece wasn't silver, but that's okay. I digress. It doesn't really matter. So let's take a look away from all of this and take a look at the one thing that I missed, put it all back together, and finish up the video with my final thoughts. And the one thing I missed was the Devil Snare area. Now, the one complaint I do actually have about the Devil Snare section 
is that the Devil's Snare is green and not black, but that's okay, it's understandable. They probably don't have it in black, and I definitely know that they do because of the Venom character, but it's all right, um, and that's A-OK. -okay. I also failed to mention, because it didn't really matter at the time, uh, the two halves just connect on Technic pieces, like Technic axles. They just slide in, and I think that's a really great way to put them both together. But uh, now that we've finished this section of the review, let's put them back together, and I'll show you to put how to put them back together and finish up this video with my final thoughts. Now, when putting these two pieces of the castle together, you want to make sure that this slope section right in the back right there is lining up with a specific section as well as the uh, crossway to the main hall, or the great hall, rather. And those two sections are going to line up. Uh, that slope section will line up in that little area right there, and the walkway should line up in this space in between this uh, dome-type area as there. And you really gotta keep a close eye because one mess up and it's not gonna go together. And there we go, off without a hitch. So, overall, this set is extremely nice. And I'm gonna bring in the other micro builds from this set as well so that you can get a better justification of uh, both the price point, kind of as well as the uh, scale, kind of, of this set. And, wow, uh, it's amazing that this set comes with a lot of these things. Uh, and it's a great set. I would highly recommend it. Um, having it is really nice in my collection. When I move out, I really hope that this becomes a display, not only a display piece, but a conversation starter. Um, and I think, except for the excessive use of stickers, this set is perfect. I, I love the micro scale aspect of it because it allows for a lot of the details to be there. One thing I do feel is missing is the astronomy tower, but that's okay. Uh, the sprout. Uh, or the, uh, uh, the garden center, or I just name a part of Hogwarts Castle as a piece of Walmart. Uh, the area, the herbology room is missing, obviously, and there are obviously a lot of other parts missing from this set. But I don't mind it, personally. I think it's a really great display piece, um, and I think when it, before the price hike, it was extremely worth it. Now I would kind of wait for it to go on a little bit of a sale. I wouldn't spend the amount of money over that I spent. I think $422 is a more than fair price, despite what I said when I was talking about the minifigures. It's just, with all those stickers and the only four minifigures not being a complete draw to this set anymore... And some of the aspects of the uh, Harry Potter um, uh, saga missing, I just feel like this is not worth the price hike, but the initial price, if you can get it there or less, I would 100% pick this set up. I highly recommend it, and I can't wait for you guys to check out the next video. See you all then. Peace.